Hi everybody, this is Angie from ToriAngie.com and today we're on Bland, but we're going to be taking a left on North Street, then jumping on Frederick Street, then Maryland, and we're going to circle by the hospital. Yes, the hospital is not really a hospital anymore. There is the ER that's located there. It is part of Princeton Hospital, which is the only major hospital in, West Virginia, in Mercer County right now but it's part of WVU Medicine. But the hospital is going to be used as a teaching facility through Bluefield State. Now, I'm not here to talk about, you know, how people feel that it's sad that the hospital shut down and it's only an ER and different things like that. That's not what I'm here to talk about today. I have a lot of information about the old hospitals that used to be in Bluefield. And I thought I would share that instead of driving around in a circle through downtown Bluefield where they originally were located because I've done a circle of Bluefield so much. So we're going to talk about some of the hospitals that were in the area. Now we're going to talk about the early 1900s and how Bluefield had four hospitals. And later we'll be talking about the more information that I found on Bluefield's Saint, old St. Luke's Hospital and the sanitarium. So right now, Bluefield's four hospitals were developed as a privately owned institutions. The Bluefield Sanitarium, the oldest hospital in the county, was started in 1902 by J. Frankie Fox, and it was located in a building on Bland Street that had a 10-bed occupancy. In 1907, the hospital was moved to Judge Johnson's property where it remained until the new building was built on Ramsey Street in 1913. St. Luke's Hospital was opened in 1904 by Dr. Charles M. Scott on the corner of Raleigh and Bland Street. Remodeled and enlarged in 1910 and then again in 1915, the hospital moved into a new building in 1925 at the corner of Bland and South Streets. Now, there are two more hospitals that were in Bluefield and they were African American established. Dr. W.W. Lomax operated a hospital in the McClun House, the McCluck House, on Bland Street in 1916. It was replaced in 1926 with a brick building. After the death of Lomax, Dr. W.A. Brown took over the hospital. It later was named St. Mary's Hospital. The second African American hospital was, a, was the Province Hospital. Hospital, which started in 1927 by Dr. C. A. Rogers and Dr. R. A. Pode. So that is a little bit of the information. I do not have any information on those last two hospitals. It's not in this book that I can find. But now we're going to talk about the other two. Now I'm taking this from an article that was written in the 1980s and put in the history book for Mercer County. But this was Bluefield's oldest hospital, the Bluefield Sanitarium, and like I mentioned, it was built in 1901 or 1902, or it was established, not built. But the institution was set up on Bland Street in a frame building, which was dismantled uh, to basically put an extension through to Scott Street from Federal to Bland. Anyway. The stay in the hospital in the early days was something to ride home about, and it was an only a 10-bed hospital back then. But, let's see, after that, uh, David Johnson, a residence, purchased in 1907 and was used exclusively as a hospital into 1914. So that was his house. A mo modern fireproof building was erected for the hospital at that time, which was adjacent to Johnson's house where then his residence was basically to train the nurses and uh, administrative personnel. In 1921, they doubled the length of the building and adding a full story to it overall. And the last addition was made in 1928, which added a ward of space on the two upper floors, providing extra workspaces in the main floor uh, for clinical and x-ray labs. The hospital at the, that present time had a capacity of 110 beds and was equipped with a modern operating room, physiotherapy department, electrocardiograph, x-ray department for both therapy and diagnostic work, and clinical pathology laboratory. 
So that's pretty interesting. Pretty interesting information to know about the old Bluefield Sanitarium from back in the 1920s. So now we're going to talk about St. Luke's Hospital, which in this article says it's West Virginia's finest hospital. This article was published in this book in the 1980s, this Mercer County History book, but you can tell clearly by how it is written that it was written well before that. So I'm going to do my best to uh, read to you directly as it is from the book or from the article. The St. Luke's Hospital instituted in 1905 and reestablished in January 1924. It is a magnificent building. For over a quarter century, the institution has served the people of Pocahontas Flat Top Coal Mining Region and is today an outstanding Bluefield institution. The Nurses Training School, established in 1912, is without equal. A modern nurses ad nurses home adjacent to the hospital is equipped with lecture rooms and special training equipment and many advantages are offered to the young women entering the training school. The hospital is at the corner of Bland and South Street and embodies practical every modern improvement known to the medical and hospital world. The building is fireproof of brick and steel construction and accommodates 100 patients. The elevators are silent. A noiseless call system is in use in every room. A portable bedside x-ray machine is in daily use in addition to complete x-ray equipment. A small fortune is invested in radium. A special anesthetic room is just off the main, wait main operating room and the patient is brought quietly into the room which is quiet and homelike. Quiet furnishings, soft lighting, and no instruments in view. All fear of uneasiness is removed from the patient's mind. A dumbwaiter system services each floor quietly and efficiently. A canopied, tiled, covered roof garden for convalescence patients affords an unsurpassed view of the mountains from, a top, from the top of the building. The walls and floor of the operating room are built with white tile and visible parts of are, are white. Natural light with a special no draft window is used in the operating room. In addition to the modern indirect artificial lighting equipment, the rooms throughout the building have are larger than the average hospital room. Every comfort to the patient is a keynote to the plan. Telephones are provided in every room. Comfortable sun parlors are found on every floor. Nothing has been left undone to the to provide Bluefield to provide Bluefield and the Pocahontas coal, coal fields with the most modern hospital that is possible to provide St. Luke's with passing years has become more and more the hospital for surgical cases. Anyway, I found that just so funny and interesting to read of how they describe the hospital. Well, that is all I have. So this is Angie from Torangie.